to my channel. So today I am doing a really fun video. This is going to be my first Christmas video and also my first video in my new winter series, which I'm going to be calling a hashtag McKenna Snowfall. And I'm really excited about this. Also, yeah. So today I'm going to be doing a DIY Christmas party. You can do this with your friends, you could do this with your family, you could do this with yourself. That's what I did, I did it with myself. And um, it's really fun, I'm, I have a couple of snack ideas, some decoration ideas, a makeup look, an outfit idea, and I think that's everything. So I hope you guys enjoy. If you try any of these out, make sure to hashtag McKennisSnowfall on Instagram or Twitter so I can see all of your pictures of your awesome parties. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing we are going to be doing today are these magazine Christmas trees. And I think these are so fun and they're really, really easy to make. So the only thing you're gonna be needing for this is a magazine and you're gonna be folding over the top into like a little triangle, it's like in half. And then you're gonna fold that in half again. So Once you've done that, you're gonna have a little triangle at the bottom and you're just gonna fold that under. And you're gonna do this to every single page. Once you have folded the last page, you just kind of want to stand up your tree and kind of like almost fluff it out and kind of just disperse all the pages evenly so that it creates a full Christmas tree. Now this next part is obviously completely optional, but I decided to spray paint one of my trees and it turned out really cool. It adds a little bit something to your table. So the next thing we're going to be doing is a DIY photo booth and a backdrop for the photo booth. I thought this DIY was so fun and it was really fun to take pictures with all your little props. So what we're going to be doing for the backdrop is I drew a Christmas tree stencil and I'm just going to go ahead and cut that out. I'm going to be tracing 13 of them on my paper and cutting those out as well. Once you have all of your little trees or ornaments or whatever you decide to do cut out, it's time to decorate them. So I did polka dots and stripes and then I kind of just arranged them so they looked good next to each other and I wrote happy holidays on them. Then I'm just sticking them on the wall with some ticky tack. Now for your props, you can just print out a bunch of really fun little like reindeer noses and mustaches, hats, and Santa beards and all that kind of stuff. And then you're just gonna want to cut those out. Now for the little stick, I am just rolling up a piece of paper and taping it. That was super easy. And then I'm cutting out my little stencils and I am just taping them on there and it was really, really fun, and it's a really cute idea. Next, for the popcorn cups, all you're going to be needing are some little treats. I use like M&Ms and pretzels and sprinkles, and then you're also going to be needing popcorn. You're just going to go ahead and pour all of your treats into the bowl along with your popcorn. La la la, tis the season to be jolly. La 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 la. Now once you've done that, you want to heat your white chocolate up for about 30 seconds and drizzle that in there and just stir it around. This is going to help kind of hold everything together in the um, muffin tin and I also put some sprinkles on top. Then you just want to plop them into your muffin tin and stick them in the fridge for probably just about 5 minutes and they should be done. Next for the Hershey Hugs and Kisses, these are really easy as well. You're just going to lay some pretzels onto a baking sheet and then you're going to unwrap some Hershey Kisses and put those on top. Next you want to set your oven to 200 degrees and put the Hershey Kisses in for 5 minutes. Once they come out you're just going to place some M&Ms on top and put them in the fridge for a little bit and you're done. Now for the hot chocolate bar, I thought this was so fun. All you're going to be needing is some packages of hot chocolate and you're just going to put those on a little tray along with a cup of marshmallows and some candy canes and then to finish it all off, I put some yummy Hershey Kisses on there. Next for the holiday makeup look, this is a really fun gold eye. So I'm just going to be priming my eyelids 
And then I'm going to be using a really shimmery gold shadow all over the lid with a flat shader brush. For the crease, I'm going in with kind of a darker brown color and really focusing it on the outer V. And then on the inner corner and kind of like the middle of the lid, I'm doing a really shimmery color. I'm applying a highlight and some mascara to top it all off. And lastly, for the outfit, my leggings and my sweater are both from Forever 21. They're really fun and I think they're perfect for a holiday party because they're not super dressy or anything. And my necklace is from H&M. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you recreate any of these, then hashtag McKenna Snowfall on Instagram or Twitter with a picture, and I would love to see them. Thank you so much for watching. Bye! Oh, it's fun.